What's happening, my Android friends? Welcome to the Mandroid Daily. Look at that, three days in a row. I'm on a roll, guys. Hopefully I can get t- <laughs> tomorrow's up. I'm not too sure if I can. I might not be home in time, but I'll try my best. I appreciate you guys clicking in. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the daily videos of Android news. So, hey, let's talk some Android. All right, looks like some Shamu spottings were out there. Looks like people spotted some Shamu stuff out there. That's right, you know what Shamu is, right? That big, huge Motorola Nexus that we've been hearing about. Uh, Yeah, I mean, uh, people's reservations about a 5.9-inch screen is pretty like, whoa, like, I don't think I can handle that either. But uh, apparently, uh, Benchmark said it showed up on the GFX bench today, kind of, well, giving out what it's going to have under that hood under that uh big huge hood if that's the <laughs> if that's the case see it's a but see these benchmarks at first we thought it was going to be a 5.9 inch screen that was the whole rumor but these benchmarks like as you can see right here 5.2 i think we can all deal with that yeah that's right and uh, as for the specs yeah it looks like it's going to have a snapdragon 805 processor and it's going to be clocked at 2.65 gigahertz it's going to have an adreno 420 gpu rocking stuff right there three gigs of ram which is great 24 gigabytes of available storage and you know of course you could probably get up to 32 uh it's gonna have a 12 megapixel rear camera and a 2 megapixel front camera yeah they don't really concentrate on that front megapixel camera or that front camera you know who needs it right you know selfies oh my god but yeah that's looking not too bad i can deal with uh 5.2 inches 5.9 that's pushing it that's almost that's pretty much tablet size right there Question is, what are they going to call this? Are they going to really call it the Nexus 6? Or are they going to have to buy the rights to the Nexus 6 from Blade Runner? Possibly. But uh, let me know what you think about these specs. Are you going to get the Nexus or the Motorola Nexus, Nexus Nexus, whatever they're going to call it? Let me know down below in the balls area. And it becomes official finally. Samsung announces the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. And they're calling it the evolution of Galaxy design. Design, design, design. Seriously? Okay. I guess that's what they want to call it, but there's the image right there. Bunch of images. Yeah, man, that looks pretty. Uh, very much resembles a little bit of a Galaxy S2 like we've been seeing. But, um, yeah, there it is. Um, I don't know why they're in yeah, the biggest evolution is uh, the inclusion of a metal frame. I mean, I guess that's what it is. Uh, you're a little bit late to the ball game there, Samsung, but it's okay. It's expected to have uh, a Snapdragon 801 or possibly, you know, like Swinos, whatever. Two gigabytes of RAM, 720p display, 4.7 inches, 1860 milliamp battery. You know, it's not supposed to be something crazy, but I think they're, I think they're testing out the metal design. You know, the metal design. Ah, I say go for it. Metal's good, right? Right, HTC users? Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. So let me know what you think about the Samsung Galaxy Alpha down below. And the Moto 360, we still don't know when this freaking watch is going to come out. I want that on my wrist right now. But there's a slight chance, because, you know, let's face it, when it comes to smartwatches, uh, a lot of the smartwatches out there only last you a day, which is not too bad, because we plug our phones in at night. Who cares about plugging in another piece of uh, hardware? But the Moto 360 might last two days and a half, 2.5. Yeah, that sounds weird when you say it like that, but two and a half days. It might last you. According to an Italian blogger, Luca Verscardi, he, su- he suggested his uh, prototype lasts up to two and a half days. That's pretty interesting. I hope this is true. I mean, Motorola, I mean, they had the, the Moto X phone, and that had great battery life. Maybe they unlocked the secret to the ever, well, a longer lasting battery. It all depends on a lot of things just coming together, really. So that's interesting stuff. Do you believe it? I hope so. I, I like to believe it, but uh, I still want to know how much this damn thing is going to be and when it's going to come out. And then finally at IFA 2014, we might see an Asus Android Wear smartwatch that we've been hearing about. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, we had uh, somebody from, uh, well, Mr. Chen commented about the future of wearables at Asus saying we're dreaming big about the future of wearable devices. But the dream will not come true this year or the first half of next year because the market demand has not picked up. Mm, So why? Yeah. uh, Might make an appearance. They might announce it, but who knows when it'll actually be made available. So, ah, it's interesting. They might, yeah, like I said, they might announce it, but 
We might probably won't see it till probably like summer of next year. It's not too bad. We'll uh, we'll be okay with that. So let me know what you think about that as well as all the other stories I talked about today down below in the balls here. And also hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. And uh, uh, get me on social media. It's all down there. Visit my uh, other YouTube channel as well as my other sites. And uh, I appreciate you guys clicking in. I am David, your Android junkie with AndroidSpin.com. And this has been the Mandroid Daily. Talk to you guys later.